Hello everyone, my name is Fox. We're going to be taking a look at Resident Evil 2 Remake. I've been working on this kind of uh, off and on all day trying to get DirectX 12 working. Unfortunately, no matter what I choose, I can't get DirectX 12 working, which is unfortunate because DirectX 12, especially when you're just running in the menu, you can clearly see that the FPS is, uh, well, 2.2x greater than what DirectX 11 is. Now, that's not to say that you're going to get two times the frame rate when in DirectX 12, but a Obviously, it's a far more efficient API to be running. Hopefully, uh, Intel is already working on a driver update for Resident Evil 2 Remake, uh, so that hopefully DirectX 12 just works on the newest drivers that are there. Uh, regardless, I'm going to be submitting the, the uh, error that I get to Intel's site, and hopefully they can fix it. Very quickly, we'll go ahead and take a look at my settings. I'm running a borderless window. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm doing 1280 by 600, so it gives this like um, letter letterbox um, look. CinemaScope type of feel, so it'll cut off. I'm basically shaving off 120 lines of resolution, which gives me just an, uh, basically an extra frame or two, uh, which I am going to take. There is a um, diminishing return, so at 1280 by 700, uh, 720 and image quality at 50%, this resolution scaling I have verified is in fact half width and half height. So in effect, this is 640 by 300. So 300p is what this is running at right now. If we go down, everything else is set to off variable frame rate. Um, everything is low. The only thing that is on is a shadow cache, which is super important because if you flip it to off, our uh, FPS just tanks. Um, if you go into the main lobby room, you can see that it's just absolutely terrible. Um, my son is playing a game right now. And he's like super into it. Apologies for him. He's uh, a... <laughs> he's really into it right now. Um, so um, this, again, we're running at max power on the GPD Win 2. This is at 15 watt. You can see that a power level uh, PL limit one right here. Basically, that stipulates that I, um, I'm i going to give this the SOC on here, the 7Y30, as much power as it needs. You can see our uh, SOC temperature right here. You can see the wattage is at 8 watt. You can see that uh, both of our CPU coolers are 2.4 gigahertz, which is going to be the max. 2.6 gigahertz is the max uh, frequency only when it's in single core only, but because most games are going to be using dual cores, you'll only ever see 2.4 gigahertz. 848 megahertz is the max uh, core uh, frequency for the GPU. So that's basically the max that we're going to be giving it. This is the current power that is getting right now. So it's getting around 8 watts currently. And as we're playing, that's going to fluctuate a bit. Uh, I am using a modded heatsink. This is the stock one that comes on the Win 2. The modded one looks like this. This one is aluminum. The one that's in here is copper. So without further ado and all the information I gave you, we can go ahead and start looking at Resident Evil 2 Remake. I don't have any of that just yet. Additionally, uh, there this is the 30-minute demo. You can see I have 22 minutes left. Thankfully, someone has released a trainer already to reset that 30-minute clock, and you'll be able to take a uh, reset that to whatever you know back to 30, just so you can play again. The game does have a hard cap, regardless. <laughs> I like that he's a. He's just uh, self-affirmations. You got this. Apologies, I'm watching the screen and not the viewfinder, so if the, the uh, game is kind of trailing off, that is my fault. Uh, also, Average FPS has already produced the video and has already put it out. I believe he is running at 7 watt only, though. Where are we at? Any monsters? Was the wood break? No. I got any goodness behind here? No goodness. So I've yet to actually play this remake. I've just been futzing with graphics options. Oh man. Pretty sure I'm gonna need some whole day. There you go. Good job. Average FPS does, though, he does um, record off of HDMI with Elgato, so he gets a full screen look at the game. 
So if someone doesn't want off-screen footage, this is what, the reason I do that is because it's going to be the actual um, FPS that you should anticipate. Oh, hell yeah, I want my first aid spray. I love spraying first aid on me. Obviously, we're running at low settings, so all the re reflections and stuff is gone. Anyone behind this door now? Well, that's an interesting way to handle that. What about this? Can I look inside of here? Ooh, look at that. You can actually see the huge dip that just happened coming back out of here. Oh, it's the same door where I came into. All right. So let's go this way. Can I turn this on? No, not just yet. Jesus. Oh, well, that's locked. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! All right, all right. I'll just. Me and meander over here. Yoink. Oh, son of a... Uh, left trigger, right trigger. He's dead, right? Son of a biscuit. Oh, come on. Son of a... Oh, cool. You can get tag teams. Get off me. Get off me. Oh man, they're down both sides of me. I gotta, I gotta spray myself. Uh, not with that one. Uh, not with that one. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, I wish to spray myself. Huh. Um. Haha! <laughs> uh, ah, son of a... Off me. I'm all out of bullets. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> How many headshots does this guy take? Alright, I got four bullets left.
All right. Well, this is the normal 10 minute mark, and I think we got a decent amount of action going on there. And you can kind of see that uh, frame rate is uh, kind of okay. It's easy enough to play. It's definitely playable. Hey, you guys can see me. What's going on? Um, but uh, yeah, um, hopefully Intel updates their DirectX 12 driver, which will be um, pretty. Uh, I'm just more curious to see if how how much how better how much better FPS gets. Uh, in any event, uh, as always, thank you for your time and thanks for watching.